why you should never delete YouTube videos and why I did it anyway. You might think that you gain an advantage by deleting some of your bad videos because if there are only good videos on your channel then the algorithm thinks this is a good channel, right? Yeah, that's not entirely how YouTube works. The algorithm concentrates on videos that viewers respond well to. In other words, the videos that viewers click on and actually watch longer. There are almost no downsides in leaving a video up. They don't hurt you when a video doesn't perform very well. And every view is still a view and every video on your channel is still an opportunity to get views and subscribers. Also videos that are not doing well now can suddenly pop up out of nowhere and all of a sudden can become one of your best performing videos on the channel. That happened to me a couple of times. Imagine that you deleted the video before it went viral. Ouch. When you have a copyright strike or a copyright claim on a video, deleting a video won't resolve the strike or the claim. In that case, make the video private or unlisted so you can resolve the claim or strike when it is not valid. But when it's a valid strike, you should definitely delete the video before you land in court. And I'm curious to hear from you why you want to delete your video in the first place. Let me know in the comments below. Some of the questions that you ask me regularly when it comes to deleting videos. Do you lose money when I delete a YouTube video? Well, I tested it. No, you don't. Advertisers already paid, viewers already saw the ad, viewers clicked already on the ad, so the transaction when it comes to the ads in the eyes of YouTube is completed. But logically, when you delete a video, yeah, that video hasn't got the ability to earn more money from ads. Does deleting YouTube videos affect your YouTube channel? Yes, it will. And especially when your YouTube video gets a lot of views. Besides that you of course miss the views that a video normally would get. The viewers that are normally would click on that video, click on other videos on your channel. Meaning that they don't click on other videos now. So also other YouTube videos on your channel will go down. And in the worst case scenario, this can spiral into your channel getting less and less and less and less views. So be very careful with that. So my advice, always pull a video from a channel when your channel is doing well, not when you're going through a dip. You can initialize a spike on your channel by releasing a new video that you know that is doing well and at the same time that you release that video, delete the other video. Also, deleting videos is deleting watch time and watch time is ranking juice. So you basically delete ranking juice from your channel and especially when the video did very well, you basically delete the ranking juice that you gained with that video. Also, watch time is one of the monetization thresholds, meaning that if you're up for monetization, you basically delete watch time and it can take you longer before you can get monetized. If you doubt if you should delete a video or not, then I would say put it to private or unlisted instead of deleting it. This way, if you change your mind, you can always put the video back up again and the reputation of that video is still intact. So all your views and all your watch time. When you have links to the video that you want to delete, for example, you embedded it in a website or it is an end screen link on one of your end screens, then I would say put it to unlisted instead of private. This way viewers can still click the link and watch the video instead of having a dead link and having a dead video, dead website. In this video, I've told you from the start that you shouldn't delete the video, but um, now I'm gonna tell you why you should delete the video. If a video hurts you. For example, if it attracts the wrong audience. In my case, I'm getting a lot of views from India and I'm talking about India now, but it can be any other target audience. For example, a young audience from 18 to 25 or only boys or only girls, for example. The YouTube algorithm starts to think that my main audience is India and therefore starts to promote my videos to a bigger Indian audience. This causes me four problems. First of all, my core content, the videos that I deleted are not my core content. In other words, viewers subscribe to content that they don't get on my channel. In other words, YouTube algorithm, the YouTube algorithm sees this as a bad signal. Viewers subscribe, don't return. In other words, it will hurt my future promotion on videos. My second problem, the average view duration of my Indian audience is terrible. And I mean that literally, it is one of the worst in the entire world. 
And the same is true for a young audience, by the way. So the algorithm thinks that the viewers that do watch my videos don't watch my videos for long. So it thinks that my content is bad and therefore won't promote the videos any further. My third problem, and I hate to admit it, is an economic one, which also applies to a young audience, by the way. Marketing one-on-one -on -one dictates that you should develop products for people that can actually afford them. I've looked at my YouTube ad revenue and saw that the ad revenue from India was one of the lowest in the entire world. I also looked at the sales of my digital products and the total amount of sales from India were exactly zero rounded up. This isn't a sustainable business model, especially when the YouTube algorithm thinks that this is my target audience. My fourth problem is legality. Every time when someone steals my website, my content, my YouTube videos or my name, it is nine out of 10 times an Indian creator. With YouTube, you are on rented land. They provide the platform and the eyeballs for free and you have to roll with what they've got. There are no options, for example, to exclude visitors from certain countries or from certain age groups. The only option you've got is to delete the content that attracts the wrong audience. And that is exactly what I did. I removed the videos over here on May 29th at the moment that I released a couple of videos in a row so it wouldn't hurt my channel as much to prevent that spiral from going down. And you can see over here that my views overall went down instead of gradually increasing. And as you can see over here in YouTube analytics under the geography, we can see that United States is the green line, which has stayed pretty consistent. And the blue line is India and the blue line has gone down. I have still a couple of videos to go that I want to delete from my channel, but I don't want to do it all at once again to prevent that spiral from going down and down and down and down when it comes to views. So what should you do? Well, that depends entirely on your audience. Does the videos that you want to delete attract the right audience, yes or no? If yes, then keep the videos up. If no, then delete the videos or make them unlisted or private.